What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and I'm very excited to bring to you the topic of this week's Advanced Revit course. Now I do these Advanced Revit courses and they're all up on my Patreon. There you can get access to all of my Advanced courses as well as all of my Revit project files. I've got like 14 courses so far. So last week uh, we were doing this house, so last week I stopped kind of over here. We had the floor plan, whole layout, you, you had a design that you can take to your client and this is basically a kind of a sketch out of the whole layout and also you have a basic 3D plan but now in uh, this week's course we're taking it a few steps further. So I'm just going to go over everything that this course is going to be covering. So when we zoom in over here, you're going to notice that the walls are a lot a lot more complex. So if I zoom in over here, you're going to notice that we have all of the materials. We have the insulation material, the construction material, and also the finish material. We've also took care of uh, basically attaching everything in such a way that the materials continue on. So here the finishing material from this interior wall is continuing on to the uh, finished material of the exterior wall. Also all of these details, for example, this kind of a cap off, we have the finishing material going on there. Also here where we have a structural wall that's kind of connected to this regular separation wall, there also we figured out the the way that these uh, finished materials should carry on across uh, these walls. Also here if we take a look at the doors and windows you're going to notice that our uh, finish uh, material is running on the inside of the window. This is uh, kind of difficult to do in Revit because it's uh, not many people notice but usually you, you want to cover this side of the window so you don't see the uh, wall structure but you see the actual uh, the actual finish material on this side and also here the insulation is protected from the elements even on the side where it's being cut by the window. So we go over all of that also. Uh, we move on and we do the floors as well as the roofs. So let's first look at the, the floors here in the floor plan. So if I zoom in over here you're going to notice that we have a, a bit of a different uh, hatch designs for the floors. So here for the exterior floor, this one, we have some sort of uh, basically wood, uh, wood panels or something like that. We have basically an exterior uh, type of a floor. Also then we have an interior wall that's uh, kind of different. It basically doesn't really have any hatch so it's just a blank white uh, floor and that's usually going to be some sort of a carpet or something like that or uh, so some wood flooring. And here in the garage as you can see we have something else we have this uh, tile floor so as you can see the floor finish is different over there and the same thing goes for the bathroom and the kitchen area and this bathroom over here as well so we've done all of these different floor finishes in the floor plan and they're all carried through the materials so if I go here into the section you're going to notice that here we have all of the layers over here also when you zoom in you can see the finishing material changes from the bedroom to the bathroom. Here you can see we have those tiles, here we have the regular wood flooring. Also we, as you can see we've got roof materials both for the flat roof where we need to have some sort of a construction layer, in this case that's this over here, and here in the uh, sloped roof we don't really have the construction layer that's going to be wooden construction that we're going to be doing later on, but here for now we, only, we have only the layers that we need to have. So we've got the uh, insulation material as well as some uh, finishing materials on top and uh, probably some sort of shingle and something like that. Also you can see in the section uh, the wall materials uh, look good here as well and also we have got our uh, we've got our foundation walls as well as the foundation. So the foundation is modeled. If I go here into 3D I can orbit the house around and here as you can see we've got the foundation for the whole house. And when we go up this is what it looks like. And here you can see that uh, that outside material for the outside floor. So there you go, that's what this course will be covering. We're going to be going over all of the materials, setting up the wall layers, the floor layers, the roof layers, and basically doing all of the detailing so everything looks perfect, ready for construction.
Okay, so that's the topic of this week's course. Again, as I said, go to my Patreon, first link in the description. For only $15 a month, you'll get access to all of my advanced Revit courses. I've got 14 of them so far, and they're all one hour long. And if you don't want that, you can get access to all of my Revit project files, over 300 files so far, and that's only $5 a month. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this quick overview of this week's course. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for any future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And I'll be back with another regular Balkan Architect tutorial in a couple of days. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.